Well, good morning, Sambo on Sad Day. And this has been brought to you by the Gawler Business Development Board. And uh, I've certainly been very, very proud to be able to come and introduce you to uh, some of the fantastic businesses in our town. And today we're at the award-winning uh, bakery in Gawler, uh, Gawler South Bakery. And uh, we have over there Jason and Nathan here, uh, the two owners along with their families and also some 36 staff. And um, I think uh, as you quite well understand that uh, people drive past and they see the people lining up out the front to get some food and that, but uh, not a lot is known what goes on at, at, in the background. And in this particular case, we are in the, the works area where uh, the food is produced. It's not only produced here to sell in this area, but they deliver the food as far as the Ep uh, York Peninsula, uh, up into the Clare Valley and all around the district here where people uh, want to sell them. So welcome Jason, welcome right, Nathan, right. and uh, I'd like you to uh, tell uh, everybody a bit about what you're doing. So maybe to you first Jason, uh, if you can uh, tell us about uh, the, uh, the business here and uh, the production and the type of food. You can see the yummy bread already sitting here alongside of us ready to go out to uh, a distribution point. But, uh, yeah, we, like, uh, we have a fair bit of wholesale and retail. Um, re the wholesale side's grown over the last probably 15, 20 years. Um, predominantly, we were mainly retail back early on. Um, so we do anything from pies, parsies, cakes, bread. Um, as time's gone on, we've had to diversify more into different products as people want more vegan stuff or gluten-free or it's a whole range of different requirements nowadays. Um, so yeah, you sort of grow and change as you go and what the public really are after. Mm. Um, but the wholesale does take up a fair bit. We obviously working seven days a week. Um, the first, we're basically 24 hours a day through the bakehouse during the week. Um, the weekends are a bit slower, but um, yeah, we're always here, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> as you say, you know, it's a 24 hour uh, business because, you know, uh, uh, you get up, you go down the supermarket and you, or, or, or into the shop, uh, into your shop here and buy the fresh food. Um, and um, like uh, yourself and Nathan uh, working as a team with your staff uh, on different shifts and that, uh, not a lot of let up and so forth. So Jason, <laughs> yourself, uh, uh, Nathan, um, uh, with, with uh, the business itself, you've, you've found that uh, growing up with a family and building the business up as Nathan, uh, Jason said, because of the, the wholesale now you've moved into, is that uh, the supply and demand is certainly strong. So oh, yeah. are you seeing many changes in the industry of that? Uh, no, I guess for us it's been more, we've sort of stuck to more regional supply of our wholesale stuff where IGAs, food works, all that sort of stuff and we're finding a lot of the those sort of places are really coming on board now because they tend to want to get back to that country style yep. baked product and yep. that's what we're finding our customers really uh, um, love and they can get it you know they've got a holiday shack on the peninsula wherever Port Vincent or wherever it may be on the York Peninsula they can actually go and get our stuff there and, and we get a lot of feedback from customers that come in the shop saying oh I got your stuff at yep. a certain place over on the peninsula so um, it's definitely definitely growing and, and we seem to be getting a little bit busier still um, with those those supermarkets and IGAs and food workers and, and things like that. We do do a little bit for Coles um, but um, definitely the food works IGA side of things is really really picking up and really really busy so. Yeah and you were mentioning you know places like the Clear Valley a little town called Butte and a lot of people mightn't even know where Butte is but yeah. you can get these wholesome uh, parsies and pies and, and cakes and that from there uh, and you deliver them uh, what once or twice a week? So we do uh, run to the to York Peninsula and the Clare, Va Clare Valley's five days a week. Wow. Uh, York Peninsula we do twice a week and the Barossa Valley five days a week as well. Oh, um, but we also do a few deliveries on the sad days. We head out to uh, Port Wakefield Way and um, a few other places in the Barossa we do on a Saturday as well. So it's oh, pretty right. full on. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, Jason and myself taking turns being here on weekends, so mm -hmm. we don't get a lot of spare time for 
a lot of other things, but no. um, that's, that's unfortunately that's what happens. And of course the history um, of the Ascenders in bakeries and that sort of thing, possibly you two came out from school and came to work for your father, Graham Ascender, uh, who was uh, took over the business here from Salt Marshes. Yeah. Um, and of course it was always known as the baker shop to go <laughs> with Salt Marshes and when uh, Graham took over and um, um, uh, you boys came into the field and built it up from there. So, you know, like, uh, uh, Nathan, um, have you got any reliving of, of those early days? Uh, Probably oh. uh, whether you liked it or not, <laughs> but Dad said you got to work. De definitely, like, um, and saying that, that Dad took over here in 1967. Yep. Um, but we come from Gummaraka, um, where my um, grandfather Grandpa. was a mm -hmm. baker there. He had the bakery in Gummaraka, so, um, and with Grandma. So we from you know being little toddlers we grew up so I, th I think we were destined to be doing this for our um for a job so um mm -hmm. but then yeah so coming in and sort of working for dad as kids and jason and i always you know we had jobs to do after school and and that's just what you did in a family business so um mm -hmm. it, you know it's definitely changed a lot since those days that, no right. doubt about yeah, that but yeah, yeah, um yeah. you know we've we grew up we lived here um, in the old house as well. So, um, you know, we've been, I think I'm on my 32nd or third year here now. Wow. So mm -hmm. Jason's mm -hmm. been here a couple of years longer than me. So yeah. um, we've definitely, uh, it's in the blood. So yep. um, <laughs> we've, uh, it's definitely, uh, but it has changed a lot. Yeah. And Jason, uh, um, with uh, yeah. the changes and the, uh, the positive uh, event with remodelling the front of the shop, which looks absolutely fantastic, and if anybody out there has not seen it, you can't miss it. Beautiful blue contrast, and uh, uh, straight opposite KFC, I'm allowed to say that, aren't I? because they don't make bread. But uh, what do you uh, sort of remember about the early days and? Uh, when the old man said, uh, come on, you're going to work at my baker's shop, you know, <laughs> and uh, that's what he did when he was at Gummaraka <laughs> yeah. with his dad. Mm. I suppose one of those things as, a, as kids, we sort of grew up in it, like living on the property. So you sort of always, you come home from school and be helping out. You'd be packing pies or parsies or some mornings before school, you'd be helping make pies and parsies. Um, back early, he's like, it was just simple, like you only had like plain pies, parsley, sausage rolls. You didn't have the variety that you have now, this yeah. 20 something Huge, different varieties yeah. of pies alone. Um, so yeah, you sort of remember that just helping out and yep. you used to enjoy it. it was, yeah. Like sometimes you get up before school, come up and make some stuff, eat something, like the bread would be coming out of the oven. So yeah. you sort of had its advantages. Yep. <laughs> you can get something fresh out of the oven. Yeah, um, but yeah. And is there a favourite that uh, both of you have got? Uh, you know, like years ago, you know, everybody had to get a Cornish pasty or something. Yeah. And, and certainly if you went to Kadena, Wallaroo and Munta, you got a Cornish pasty. But is there a particular um, style of food or uh, through the pasties, pies or rolls or whatever uh, that you have that's uh, quite a favourite uh, uh, that you feel? Uh, I don't well, know. It's a hard one because you, so you make so many. So you sort of get like, yeah. You have you go through stages, I suppose, and everyone does on different foods and yep. bits and pieces that you enjoy. I, honestly, I think probably the pasties would still be my favourite. Yep. Um, as much as different things change, and you have yeah. probably five or six different varieties of pasties now, but I think the yep. traditional pasties um, always still been a winner. Good. Yeah. But just going on the Cornish, you were saying over the years, we've actually made a lot of the Cornish that you would have maybe eaten at yeah. Kadena or mm -hmm. Munta. We've done a lot of for the festivals over there as yep. well mm -hmm. for different people. So um, I think, um, yeah, we've, you know, that's still a, a, a big winner for us. But yeah, definitely the definitely the plain pasty. I think we, we probably sell, still out, sell our plain pies. Outsell it, yeah, so, yeah, um, yeah. Well, recently I did our family history and went to uh, uh, England and uh, the samples came from Cornwall and uh, of course the first thing we had to do was have a, uh, a Cornish pasty and uh, you know I thought I was back here because they were exactly <laughs> the same you know and uh, full of beautiful food. Um, so where to from here you know like if you've got some plans uh, don't say retire because we won't let you do that to Gawler. Um, oh, look we're just I mean, obviously, with everything, it's the, the year that's been for everybody. It's probably been a little bit more of a difficult year. 
Um, we've been, fortunately for us, our business has been quite busy through all the coronavirus. Um, unfortunately for some, not so good. Um, but look, we're just, you know, we're gonna just keep grow growing our business where we can and, and um, just keep pumping out the, the food and, and keeping all our customers happy. And, yep. um, but yeah, I think it's just, we're in a, we have a, a good bunch of staff and I mm. think that's important. And um, we sort of just found that real niche spot at the moment. Yep. And, and mm. um, you know, we don't probably, Jason and I don't really want to work any more than the hours we're doing currently. Sort of, um, you know, some days we're here 15 hours a day. So yeah, um, it's a big day. It's mm. long days. Mm. And, and mm. Um, so, you know, if we can sort of find that comfortable point yep. um, um, where we are at the minute um, and not be here any more than that, that would yeah, be great. Exactly, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. And uh, Rajesh, you, what, what do you feel about the future? Well, aren't oh, you allowed uh, to say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, like, obviously the business is in a good spot. We've had, we've had some difficult times over the years, but we're in a good spot at the moment with things. Mm. Um, yeah, ideally, as we get older, we'd like to slow up a little bit. It's, mm. um, it's a hard business, it's a hard, um, a lot of hard work you're always constantly on your feet you're doing like you don't get to sit down a lot so um yeah definitely as time goes on it'd be nice to sort of start to ease back a bit yeah. on the yeah. workload mm -hmm. um but yeah the the company's in a and we're in a good position with yeah. everything at the moment and so. we're still um obviously it was a bit different this year but we're still you know we get out there and support all the community stuff and yep, yep. you know mm. supply a lot of football clubs and other things mm. like that and mm. any sort of community stuff that we can do and you know people we don't sort of go around sort of saying too much but you know at the end of the day like all the stuff that's left we hand to some of the churches yep. or Fred's vans or you know yep. so that you know the people that aren't so fortunate can and have some to eat. Yeah. Um, you know, where rather than throwing it in the bin, so yeah, well, certainly, yeah. certainly a, a real legendary as to what you've done, being involved with, the, as you say, with the sporting clubs and and uh, those not so fortunate, and uh, it's it's been great. And uh, certainly, uh, uh, when I see your mother Lynette or uh, or grandma Joyce, <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, there's no doubt about it. You've got top fans there. There's no <laughs> doubt about that, and they're certainly very very proud of you. So yeah, so look, thanks so much Jason and Nathan uh, for having us here this morning and I do hope that um, everybody that decides to go past and come down the road here into Gawler that you take time out to come to the Gawler South Bakery. You will love it. They've got coffee and everything to mix with it and maybe you just want to pick up a bag of uh, pies and pasties to take away on your weekend trip. But come on in and see Jason and Nathan and the staff here at Gawler South Bakery.